Okay, so here I am with my uh, Chief Steamer, and uh, I'm going to do some spot cleaning in my kitchen. I've got the, um, it's like a attachment for removing like gum and stuff. It looks like a scraper. And I'm gonna just work on this sticker. You know, I probably mopped over this sticker a couple times, and it just stays. And it hasn't been bothering me too much, but um, you know, there's another one. So this is what it's like when you have young children. So um, go ahead and steam clean them. You wouldn't think a sticker would give you so much trouble. There it goes. Um, but they do. There. Goodbye sticker. So, you know, if you're just doing a quick mop job and you've got these stickers, you know, you just kind of, they're just there. Um, here's like, I don't know, my husband was canning, so I don't know if it's like a, a piece of burnt on, but you can see I'm hitting it with the scraper and nothing's really happening, but let's go ahead and turn on the steam and we'll get at it. Now you can see it kind of just spread it, so I'm not loving that. I'm going to go ahead and put a different attachment on. But it did kind of open it up, so, you know, that's okay. I Hold on, you're going to have to look at my nasty sink there for a second while I change attachments. I'm going to put the horsehair brush attachment on right now. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to work on this. I do believe it's kind of like tar. Um, they've been, we had our driveway sealed, so I think some tar <laughs> wonderful piece of machinery to uh, clean the kitchen. I did my KitchenAid last night and yeah you can see my counter's not pristine but around here I don't know if any of you all have KitchenAids but like right here there's like gunk builds up so I would get the toothpicks out. Oops you don't have to do that with this cleaner. I mean my KitchenAid my KitchenAid is probably a good 20 years old and it looks brand new. I, I cleaned it yesterday and uh, there was gunk. I don't know if any of you have gunk in here. There was a lot of gunk in there. And I just sprayed it. You know, um, I sprayed along where it says KitchenAid and there was a ring of gunk in there. Um, this where, you know, where you can pop it out and put attachments in. So it really came out nice, and this is the kind of thing that you scrub at, and it just never really looks pristine, but it took me maybe two minutes with the steam cleaner to get that looking beautiful. And you know, if you have a nice looking KitchenAid, it's kind of one of your show pieces in your kitchen. Um, so it's really nice to be able to clean it up well. So I was able to work on my stove top you can see how nice that looks right in where the knobs are. I really hit it good and I didn't get it completely, but um, it looks a lot better. And usually I would have to take the toothpick right in there and here and you just Q-tips and toothpicks and I didn't have to do any of that. I just used my steamer. Um, there I can see on the handle where it's kind of, I missed a spot. So let me just show you real quick. Um, 
I like to follow it up with a wipe of uh, microfiber there. Um, there it is. Looks good. So um, it gets, you can get in the grooves and everywhere. It's really nice. Um, I thought I would um, take a quick look at this. If anyone knows what this is, this is for my um, water dispenser in my fridge. So I'm going to see if we can work on that next. This will be to be continued because I see I'm at five minutes. Okay, thank you for watching.